Okay guys, since I am not there, we're gonna watch this video real quick and I'm gonna show you how to make this image. I'm gonna go really quickly, so just try to comprehend what I'm doing. It's nothing new, but I just want you to try to understand what I'm doing and I want you to try to replicate it. So we're gonna do this really quickly and I'm gonna show you a couple of different tools that we've been using. You know how to use them, but this will kind of be giving you a little more practice. So. We're going to create new in Photoshop and we're going to go to a thousand by thousand grid. It should be the first thing you see. If it isn't, just go to art and illustration, double tap, and we're going to open up that file. Awesome. Now let's unlock the background. Okay. And we're going to make that black. So we're going to go here to our color selector, make it black. And then what we can do is we can either hit shift backspace or we can go to our paint bucket tool over here where the gradient tool is. It might already be the paint bucket tool for you and then just click. There it is. Now it's black. So what we want to do now is what we're going to do is we're going to make mountains in a sky. Okay. So we're going to go to create new layer. There's our new layer. We can honestly, you know, you can tap on that and if you wanted to. You could name it Mountains. You don't have to do that, but you can if you want to. And then we're going to go to our Polygonal Lasso tool. Okay? Boom. And then what we're going to do is make some mountains. So we're just going to make some jaggedy edges here. Okay? doesn't have to be cra too crazy, or it can be as crazy as you want it. Just make sure you have enough time to do it. So then come out past the canvas. We're going to connect the lines in our Polygonal Lasso tool. Okay? Now we're going to fill this with white. So we're going to come up here and select white. Okay. And we can do the paint bucket tool, or again, we can hit shift and backspace, which will show up the fill icon here. And we want to fill with the foreground color because right now our foreground color is white. And we hit OK. All right. And then we still have our ants moving, so we're going to hit control D to deselect that. All right. So, so far you're with me, we've made mountains. Now we're gonna make shadows. So we're gonna go back to our polygonal tool, polygonal lasso tool, and from the tops of these mountains, we're going to select an area here, okay? And then, yeah. And then just loop it back around. Doesn't have to be like on the mountains precisely or anything like that. It just has to be down the middle. Then you're going to hit shift, which is going to bring up that plus sign there, see? And then we're going to add to the selection. So we're going to click and do it the same thing with the other mountains, okay? And then we're going to come up the middle here and then connect, okay? I don't know. I lost it. So now I'm just going to hit escape at the top left corner. Oh, no, that doesn't work either. So now hit con or control uh, Z if that happens, and that'll bring it back because it's undo. So again, we're going to hit shift, click, and then I'm going to let go of shift so it allows me to move around freely. Otherwise, if I hold on to shift, it might only give me this clock motion, and I want to be able to move around freely. So I'm going to let go of shift, do it again. Then come up here and connect. Again, hold down shift, add to the selection. There we go. Click and connect. And last one. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hit a midpoint here. And this is going to be our shadows. So we're going to select something like a gray here. Okay. Somewhere in the middle, but probably gray is probably your best bet. You can kind of go crazy with it if you want, but that's up to you. Then you're going to go back to your paint bucket tool, okay? So make sure it's not the gradient tool, but it is the paint bucket tool. And it is going to be filled with the foreground color, which is our gray. And you're going to select someplace inside the mountains here, okay? Don't click out here. Click inside the mountains. And then click. Boom. Boom. Now we have shadows, so we're going to hit Control D to get rid of our selection, and voila. Now we have some cool looking mountains. 
So now all that's left to do is to make a sky. So now what we're going to do is we're going to select a new layer for the sky. Again, you can name it sky if you want to. You don't have to. And you're going to click and drag it behind the mountains because you want it to show up behind the mountains. So what we're going to do is we're going to now go to our gradient tool, which is where our paint bucket tool is, and we're going to select gradient. Okay. And right now, I already have this color selected with these blues and stuff, but you probably don't. So let's go ahead and make that. So what we're going to do is we're going to click the foreground to background black and white uh, preset right here. Okay. And that's going to make this gray and black. Okay. So you can change these colors by clicking on the ends here. And then you have your color. So in order to change the color, all you got to do is click. And there's our color spectrum. So what you want is something real bright. So right here, this gets darker. And we want to bring it way up to brightness. And select something in the bluish tone. Or don't. But most of the time, sky is blue. So you want to click on a bluish tone. And we'll hit OK. And then the sky doesn't tend to go to black. So we're going to click this color. And let's make it a deeper blue. OK? So let's bring it way up and click something like that. Yeah. And then there we go. So using the gradient tool is really easy. So select OK. And all you got to do is drag it across the screen. OK? So you're going to click and drag it all the way up and let go. There it is. Now we have a sky. All right? Pretty simple. So all we got to do now is well we don't even have to do it but if you want to do it and you have some free time you can select the type tool click somewhere out here click, you know mountains or something you can change it to white by either going and selecting it and making it white or like we went over last week you can double tap and you have all these options available to you you could add a drop shadow you could Add a color overlay, which I already have it as white, but you can make it something crazy. You can do whatever you want to with the time that you have allotted to yourself, if you have any. There's the mountains. I don't really like the drop shadow, so I'm actually going to turn that eyeball off. I actually don't like the color overlay either, so there we go. So now, if you've completed it, or even if you haven't, go ahead and file, save, and you can save it as, you know, the mountains... Or something and then when we come back on Tuesday we'll take a look at it see how well you did if you didn't do perfect it is okay um, the primary thing is I want you to just practice using these tools and try to get used to learning them um, it's okay if you didn't do perfect it's okay if you didn't fully understand it okay just um, use the time that you have to try to make something awesome and try to do something similar to this so that uh, I have a basis to go off of when I come back on Tuesday, okay? I hope you all have a great rest of your weekend, and I look forward to seeing you on Tuesday, and I look forward to seeing what you make during this class period. All right, guys. I'll see you later.